that's fine, mate. Yeah. We are ready for this blockbuster. St. Pat Shawncliffe up against Iona College. What will be a ding dong clash here on field number one, confraternity at Runcorn, the home of St. Lawrence's College. My name's John Devine. Joining me is Luke Oxford. He's going to uh, show me up. No end. How are you, Luke? Kia ora. Nissan Bulavanaka. Talofa. Malele. Uh, good afternoon, John. Really looking forward to today's clash between St. Pat's and Iona College. Fantastic. Well done, mate. Yeah, so it's uh, Div 1 game. Um, now, you're involved with Confraternity. What college are you from? So, I'm with uh, St. Patrick's College yep. up at Shawncliffe. Uh-huh. And, uh, mate, this is a traditional game between Iona College and St. Pat's. Uh, they call it the Battle of the Chip because it's the Battle of the Bays. So, okay. So, the two Seagulls going hard at it. Now, I, I can't claim that. That was from the old Director of Sport, uh, Keith Harron. Fair enough. Now, that hooter that's gone off is actually for all six grounds to start at the same time at the moment. We haven't got either of the, these sides out. Um, Iona in the traditional black and white colours and Sean Cliff in the uh, green and gold. Green and gold? Green and gold, green that's and gold. correct. There you go. Not green and yellow? No. Green and gold. St. Pat's, yeah. Um, can remember playing St. Pat's at Sean Cliff uh, back in the day when Rosalie Morris Brothers was actually still a school. Ah, Rosalie, eh? Rosalie, yeah. yeah. I actually... Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> now, somehow security has allowed paparazzi in. So that's the uh, head coach of St. Patrick's College, uh, Brian Pollich. Brian actually helped me call in uh, Mackay. But we're underway here. Short clip will kick off from the northern end. And this should be an absolute ding-dong battle. These guys feature heavily probably in the same. Oh, good carry for the start of things. It loses the footy there. All the hard work from Leota. The referee says it's gone backwards. Fortunate for Iona. Well, they're trying everything they can to give the ball back here to St. Pat's. They'll get up and play. That's the 32 meter line. Quick play the ball. Marcus not straight here. Looking for a penalty. Play on, says the referee. Charging run gets over the halfway line. Oh, frenetic pace so far. And that's Lane. He'll get up. They come to the blind sides with the halfback and Hawea. He turns an underball here. He's absolutely smashed his Hancock in a big shot there led by June Dean Laws. Blind side, still a couple of tackles to go. Flat pass is a chance here now for Iana to put some points on the board, but the defence comes in. Pereira, he'll get up. 28 metres out from the try, and the halfback waits for it. Fires it back to the six, is actually a fullback, and Rolf will put a kick over the top here, and there's going to be tidied up the back there by the fullback there and Wellham. And holy smokes, Luke, what a start to this game. That is a great start from Iona College. They really dominated the middle, and uh, they really controlled the ruck speed there. Yeah, you want to get to your kick here, and then that's uh, what they've done. So they're 20, 10 minutes out from their own line here are St. Pat's. So they need to do some work to get out of their own end, but obviously get to their kick, which would be uh, the best way to start. But the thing you've got to worry about, I suppose, Luke, is everybody wants to get their hands on, their, on the ball early and get in each other's way. Yeah, that's correct. And you know, if I'm if I'm if I'm um, if I'm the head coach of St. Pat's, I'll be just telling, telling the boys, just you know, make sure they exit well out of this out of their own 50, back fifty, and uh, you know, back their defence. So a couple of metres post contact ones. It's the last tackle. So good defensive set here from Iona. They're fifteen short of half way here. Uh, Sean Cliff from St. Patrick's. Good kick here. It's going to be taken on the thirty. Should get back to the forty. Does so. The defence comes through in the tackle there by Wellham. He'll get up and play. Dummy half is Hawea. Runs from dummy half. Gets a short ball here. They get across halfway again, Iona. So, lickety split. Coached by former Australian Broncos and Cronulla player. And Chris McKenna. Forward Ooh, pass. Jeez. You're right in line there. What did you say, Luke? Well, I was going to say, just a touch forward there. Uh, you know, Hawea has really, really dominated the first, uh, first five, ten minutes of this game. And now this just gives uh, St. Pat's a breathe. That's just to get back in the game. So... Spot on, this has been a frightening pace. Three and a half minutes gone, and it's just been solid end to end stuff. And I think for mine, Luke, if I could be wrong, whoever wins the wrestle just slows it down. It'll probably the side that get the advantage earlier. In the meantime, you're dead right there. It's whoever wins this ta- this tackle area here, and, and you know if they can, can stop that second phase ball, it's going to be good. Well, it's, the ref- referee's gone back 15 meters. I'm, I, don't, I can't even drive that far without getting tired. Anyway, as long as he's consistent, as we see uh, Laws get up and play it, ten short of half, five short of halfway, I should say. Centre of the park, people in the way. It's going to go end over into the back here. Well, will come up with the footy. Knock back, says touch, judge and referee. 
and that will go into touch. Oh, that's, that's very tough there, JD. You know, like you, you're 40 metres out from your own try line. You just want to carry for the first couple, just hard carries, get over the gain line and then get to, you know, kick early in a tackle count. Oh, I've got a question for you, mate. I need it in order. I'll give it to you shortly as we see Pasco. 31 metres out. Come to the centre of the park. I just want to go up the middle with Wands. So far, they're getting probably seven or eight metres every carry. We've got numbers this left side, JD. Here they come, and there's a penalty. Well, at what point do you let the advantage go? I know it's not rugby union, but, geez, Iana would have loved to get that ball going to the left-hand side, as you said. Look, they had numbers. But anyway, they're going to throw a big boy at the line there. there Leota. Leota. Close to the chook. The referee's right there. Slow the play of the ball down, numbers but Frag darts oh. from dummy half and over he goes to Sprague and Maximus Sprague will score the first points of this clash and well it's been all I own in the first five minutes hasn't it? It has been you know they've, they've turned over possession cheaply St. Patrick's you know and uh, now they have to really settle it off this kick uh, great work here by Hawaii he's really directed the boys around the corner just here play the ball Sprague's there the, as you can see there the dummy half both, both market defence were both high and, uh, you know, he just got his shoulders underneath their shoulders and he scores an easy try. They wait a possession there. They come away with five in the fifth minute for the try. I was just going to say that pass that went into touch. Where do you rank that as a coach killer, mate? <laughs> Is that uh, in the mate, top five? To, yeah, it's probably, it's probably number one, you know. Number one, uh, not, not, not talking back to the ref? No, not talking back to the ref because, you know, I think talking back comes later on in the game when, you, when you're frustrated. Okay. You know, th that, was their first, that was their second set yeah. and they just tried to go too wide too early. Campbell Rolf strikes it nicely over the dot and that will be 6-0 in favour of Iona and they've had all the footy. So we look at the replay here again. Good carry from the big fella, Leota. Oh, Leota, he took three guys. Look at that defence. They all they all uh, just condensed. And just that's just an easy try. Mm. Yeah, well, <laughs> they're probably seeing stars, half those defenders. Leota, big carry. Oh, that's what mate, you want from your 10 and 8. I wouldn't be kicking down that left side, JD. I'd be <laughs> kicking down the right <laughs> yeah. side of the field. Here we go. See what happens. They, Here we go. That's where they go into the sun. Nicely taken there by the winger and cross. And it's a ball inside. Here he comes again, Leota. Here we go. Loose oh, the yeah, footy, the double footy. knock on, but the first one by Ayan. A chance here for St. Pat's. Really good tackle there, JD, by uh, young Boland. He got hit underneath the footy, and, and Leota just spilled it cold. So all this, and the number of games have called on field one so far today, and I'm sure it's probably on every other ground. Try scored after just unforced errors. Yes, unforced errors. And that's a coach killer. And, and, you know, I'm sure Chris McKenna would have said that at, uh, just in that little break, just to make sure they exit well out of their own half. And, you know, second tackle, they drop the ball. So they've got, uh, got a set line here. The ball didn't come out far enough for that set play to be recognised. Now they get it. So St. Pat's throws a dummy trying to get through there is Noah James they were waiting for him and James will take the tackle underneath that of Jack Leo he'll get up and play the hooker today is J Taj Lees short ball so far, finally St. Pat's have got the footy stands in the tackle dummy half is Lees again they go to the left and they have numbers out here they get it through there but the defence of Hancock shuts that play down here from St. Pat's they're 12 out Centre of the park, short ball. They find the prop forward, came through. That might be James Boland. I could be wrong. Just can't quite make out the number there. Long ball out the back. Centre three quarter trying to get across. This time it's Church. He'll get up slow, play the ball. Trying to get through. Oh, he's close. I think his head's over the try line. That's a changeover. There's 99 and a half metres to the other end, Luke. And this is what you want here. You know, you don't want to give cheap possession in confraternity shield. You know, you make him start, you know, one metre out from their try line. Now, it's really important that they're going to try and keep him down here, St. Pat's. Without giving away a penalty. Correct. I'll be looking times. for that big Leota now. Well, he's there. Oh, good ball. Good little tackle there. And the Cross. Cross. <laughs> Hard and straight. Here we the go. Owner. Hangs on. Will he hang on to it this time? He's driving forward. He does this carry. Great tackle there to slow the play of the ball down. Just 
Jordan do? She's working on the markers, aren't they, the Iona? They're certainly running close to the ruck, testing the, the A and B defenders. Blindside. Gone a little bit quiet of late as uh, Hawaya, probably because he's giving somebody else an opportunity, not without giving too much away. He's with the football now. It's the last tackle. Puts it in the air. Swirling conditions here. Takes it eventually there to Bryce Hancock. Sorry, uh, Cooper Wellham. And they're inside the 10. The referees and the touch judges, I think, are they might? Oh, JD, that's a coach killer. That was a great set. They kicked downfield. They pinned them down in the 20. And now they're giving them a, a cheap penalty. Now they're kicking for touch. Well, definitely better kicking the other way than this way. Oh, he doesn't make touch. Well, oh, oh. yes, he does. Yes, he does. That's a lucky bounce. Anyway, you'll take luck any day. He's got a long way back. Yeah, he's got a big 10 metres. Big 10 metres. They can be telling, not now, but on Friday. Correct. Big bodies, loses the footy. That's what happens when you put a shot around the ball. Mate, that was a great tackle there from number 11 in uh, Jack Leo, just straight underneath the footy. That was a big shot. You get more damage out of those sort of tackles than anything a little bit higher. Hawea throws a dummy. Fences awake to it. He's dangerous, this kid. Sprague, dummy half. Leo. Still going as a centre free. Got Pereira. Any relation? Player who plays for uh, the Redcliffe uh, NRL side. Could be. Pereira. Hawera. Now with Rolf. Hitting it with pace there is Fisher. Fisher gets the offload here. And the winger will go out the side of the fullback. And Bryce Hancock will go over and score. And the referee awards the try. That was a great. Uh, that was a great try there. Look at the shift from the left left side of the field. Two long passes, then followed by a short pass. So Rolf takes it to the line, gives it to gives it to the the, the centre. Short pass, and the fullbacks in the corner. Very hard to stop when you when, when you when you're inside your 22. You're defending a long pass followed by a short pass. Well, they held off Rolf. He just stood a little bit of skip. It's almost like jet style footy, and then he decided to take the line, as you said, uh, Luke. And then uh, that indecisiveness from the outside people, players weren't sure. And then um, they may have come in a couple of steps, couldn't see it on screen, but easy enough for uh, Bryce Hancock to go over and score a great fullbacks try. And yeah, Iana on the back of a very, very physical first ten minutes, is starting to really roll up the middle, led yeah. by Leota. Yeah, and I think um, you know what's. I think you know Iona uh, have had plenty of opportunities, and and for me it's you know it's St Patrick's College just they just not being able to complete their sets and turning the ball over cheaply. They've had no footy. Yeah, they've had no footy, and when they've gotten down there, they've actually done, haven't done too bad. Mm. And for all the viewers at home, uh, both teams are in the Associated Independent Colleges competition, so they've both come off their rugby union season. And this is their first. This is their first match for the season of rugby league. Have uh, St. Pat's had a game of league? No, they haven't had a they haven't had a trial game. Uh, trial so, game. Okay. so wow. they go. For, so what happens is they go play the confraternity and then they go into the AIC rugby yeah, league but that, season. But nothing beforehand. No, nothing beforehand. Shortish kickoff, looking for some uh, possession, and that's going to be knocked on. I think that's gone into touch by the the winger and talent cross. Get a What's direction like the, from the touchy scrum. Play the ball. No, so wasn't touched. This is a really important uh, set for St. Pat's JD. Well, you liked the first tackle should be on the 20 or the 30, but the first one's actually eight minutes short of their own halfway line here. So St. Pat's again in familiar territory, again close to the ruck play, driving towards those markers. We need to stand a little bit closer. Here they go again. Shortish ball, straight into the markers. Half a gap tries to get through there. There's Lane. That's a Lane. great carry from Lane. Gray around the ankles. Otherwise, he's going to make the pay a bit more. Rolf gets poleaxed. 20 out. Quick play of the ball. They go to the blind side with Fisher. 
Fisher's still got the footy. I think got the offload in the end. He's going to say it's a... Well, that's the wrong whistle, wrong field. Last tackle now here for Iona. We go at the back. Rolf. Hawera puts a banana kick in. Needs a bounce. Still alive, still alive. And... Borsted goal, line dropout. This was knocked on by Iona. It's going to be a line dropout. Repeat set here. Now for uh, for St. Patrick's College, they've really got to dig deep here. They need a stop, and then they just need to get their hands on the ball. They oh, great Brett. kick. Chasers need to keep coming up here. That's a halfway line. Yeah, great kick. Tackle there by Maddox. Going on with it a little bit. Hopefully he doesn't shoot a penalty as Sutherland. And here's Benavenuti. Benavenuti gives it off. Try to know. Oh, great defence. Lane will get up and play it. He's having a whale of a game as Lane. Reaches out and snatches his footy. I don't think that ball was supposed to go to Jack Lear. I think it was supposed to go out actually wide to Pereira. Dart from dummy half and gets him close. Short. Ooh, held held up. up. Wow, I thought he was there, Luke. Oh, Maximus Sprague. Mate, uh, Benvenuti has come on. <laughs> Leota's come off and Benvenuti's come on. And he, nice little offload here. They're going to give it to the big fella again. Give me the pill. Way he goes. One, two, three, four defenders. Last tackle now. Dummy half is Sprague. Throws it out the back. Doesn't go himself. It's with Rolf. Fullback now. Hancock. Quick hands. Should oh, be a try play. in the corner. It does. Cross scores. That is a well-executed well play there from Iona College. It's the way to possession, Luke Oxford. It's yeah. just been relentless from the black and white army. As we see here on the replay, nice lead and tail. Rolf takes it deep in the line, plays it out to the fullback, and it's just quick hands. That, that lead and tail play created a, a, a three-on-two down that short side, and there was no chance there. Well... You're over there. You're in the in the scrum. You're the water carrier in the Shawcliffe uh, St. Pat's pack. What are you saying to the players, mate? Oh, I'd just be saying to the to the to the boys. Look, you know, this next next set of six. Okay, we haven't had any possession. Let's really work hard to to pin them down in their own half. You know, when they kick, let's just work it back into their territory. You know, for the, for me, they're going to be the next to score. Mm. You know, and if they're not next to score, it's going to be hard. Well, you. You, you score a try, you grow an extra leg. Yep. Don't you? Yep. So they need that confidence. Of, That's exactly you know, they right. They bust the line. Confidence, you know, confidence comes back. Kick is waved away. Let's see if they go to the other side. I don't, I don't know. The sun comes to the play, kicking to the top of right of the But have a look at this. This is just a side that's been playing together forever, it looks like. Yeah, that was a really good pass there from Hancock. Jeez, that was good. And that's, and that's left to right, too. Yeah, left to right. Yeah. And he did a nice job of just you know floating out behind uh, that lead runner. So, again, allowed to bounce, and here oh. we go. Another cannonball comes firing out of the gun here yeah. for Iona. That's a great carry from Tui uh, Tahi. Heavy contact here, trying to create some dislodgement of the footy. It's Lachlan Smith. Knows he's been tackled. Two defenders and a great shot. Again, Iana sticking close to the ruck here as with Tui Tahai. Five short. The halfway line, that is. Oh, big shot in the kidneys. Maynard. Felt that one to Howardy. Good hit there. Yeah, well, you think about it next time, don't you, when you carry the ball up here. And here's a chance on the right hand side. It's with the halfback thing. There's Hawaii. No, no. Hawaii might be the winger there and cross. Dummy half. It's cash. The body's in motion. Reaches out for it. Ball still alive. Knockback says the referee. Still the last. No, he's going to say, or oh, was the last, and it's a changeover. That was a, yeah, that was a great, great set there from Iona College. That run down the sideline, the winger, the winger, they went down that short side, and uh, the winger made some good metres. It's not enough to cause carnage with the ball in hand, but Iana is just putting the hits in as well. That was Pasco. Oh. I felt that one up here. That's great. Look at the rucks. They're controlling the ruck speed. They are, correct. That's what we're talking about in the early part of the game. Whoever wins that, along with the possession, heavily favouring Iana College. 
early kick. It is an early kick. Not a bad idea. The wing is up. The chases need to be good. The bounce is even better. That's oh, a hand knock and on, knock on yeah. for mine, and it is. And Cross comes up with an error. A minute to go. I want to be quick with this scrum. One thing I've noticed in defence, JD, is uh, Iona College, you know, they're turning St. Pat's uh, ball carry, turning them on their back, creating a slow play of the ball, and, you know, Iona are finding their front, you know, which generates quick ball. Definitely. 30 seconds remain, so they've got two or three tackles. Conjures something up here. Laws drives with the look. Legs does Laws, gets across the 40, the 38 metres out. St. Pat's up against Iona. The neighbours are at it again. Maddox, two plays to go, maybe one. Do they go aerial? Keep it in hand. Dart from dummy half. Now it's the last play here. James charges forward, takes the tackle, and that will be half time 14 points to nil. And it's been all one way traffic, way to possession. Just good carry, winning the wrestle. Go through the highlights of the first half here, Luke. Yeah, just looking at the highlights here, Leota with that strong carry, which set up their first try with Sprague just, you know, scores from dummy half. Leota puts his hand and says, oh, I got that one. And then this one was a, a was a great play. Rolf deep in the line, plays out, plays out the back, nice little offload, and then yeah, had Hancock in the corner. And then this last try. Another well-executed try again. Rolf out the back, Hancock through the hands and crosses in the corner. Yeah, nightmare for the left-hand defence there for St. Pat's. We'll take a half-time break. 40 nil Cop Fraternity 2023. We'll be back soon. We see you working hard, juggling, dreaming, climbing. We see your ambition, your dedication, we see you gaining confidence in our spaces and on our screens. Yeah, we see you doing more and going further. With CQ University Australia, it's time to be what you want to be. This is a city where the sun shines all year, where we sing when we're winning, and we play without fear. This city is a family, and families stick together. We've always been in it to win it. This city never says never. Oxford joins me from St. Pat's College and um, yeah it's pretty basic what they need to do and that's just get some footy and they've as you said Luke before the break they've actually shown some um, some um, uh, um, good plays when they've had the ball in hand it's just, and there's just chaos from the coaching staff too from St. Pat's it's be hard to concentrate yeah look you know for St. Patrick's now they, they've got to exit well out of their own half and, and get a good kick chase and pin Iona College. I think the one thing that's been killing St. Pat's is that they haven't been able to control the rough speed, JD. But Correct. if there any chance of getting back in the game, they need they need to control the ruck. So Marcus needs to straighten up a little bit. So we are underway, kicking into the sun again. Here we go, the back fence. Oh! oh! That's gone a little bit too high. He's going to be called out. Well, he'll go and report. I would think wow that is a big hit Jeez. He's, he's run from he's run being lee <laughs> off the back fence Jeez. uh i think it's wilson Tomich there oh anyway they get themselves a penalty so yeah they might lead by 14 nil but that's not an ideal start here for iona so what can st pat's do with the footy no 
Rector, uh, Father Trigg wouldn't have been happy with that eye shot. Might be a word said later on. They've really got to put the ball out in front for their big carriers here, JD. They're, they're passing it at the inside here. Actually, that was a feature, you're right, Luke. They did hit the chest of the, of the ball carriers, did Ion, in that first half. As you say, you don't need to score. It's 20 minutes of footy. It doesn't take long to score a try. You just got to work and be patient with the footy. It's like gold at the moment here for St. Pat's. Condon puts a kick out. It's a nice little kick here, but bounces up nicely, as you'd expect. Sometimes you just draw your own luck and uh, Hancock will get up and play 10 metres out. But they got to a kick and they got field position. That was a good, that was a good set there for St. Pat's. Now they're going to control the ruck. Continue with their one-out stuff here. Just do the, do the non-risky stuff. Puts it through the hands here. It's, it's going to come off the chin of the Iana. Oh, well, I didn't need that. Jeez, that's a coach killer, that mm. one. Deep into this, into the tackle count. And, and on they, the 40. And on the 40. JD, for me, the, the guy that has been really playing well and he's been really good in his first half has, has been number 14 for our a college, Sprague. Uh, you know, he's playing dummy half. He gets the ball out in front for the fronties and uh, he provides front football and, you know, he's been, a, he's been really good. Just wonder whether he's in relation to Michael Sprague, the coach of the Carina Tigers in the BRLA grade competition. So, some Harry played for Carina, not anymore, but anyway, here he is with the footy. To Atahi, loses the footy. Oh, second tackle. Well, this is a. It must be running from the uh, from the southern end that causes the, the handling errors. Cause it was all St. Pat's with the handling errors running towards the clubhouse end. Uh, just that's the issue when you second tackle, you try and offload. You know, you lose all momentum and then you throw a terrible pass. That's what they didn't do in the first half. They just had the one out guys close to the ruck, and if they could promote the footy, they did. But exactly. Standing in the tackle here, St. Pat's is trying to get a yeah, good wrestle there. And he's back and they're taking the turn. He's Sprague leading that. Blind side, they've got a couple of plays. A little dinky kick that's inside the 40, I thought. Yeah. Ooh. And over end, Hancock has to go back. That's a 10 metre line. There's a wall of green and gold. Great tackle, Lease. Pit him down. Oh, I know. Run it out. Go to the left again. Just one out stuff. They've done it all the time between their try line and the 30 metre line. Just one out stuff, I am. Mate, it's pretty simple, they go, JD. Yeah, it's a simple game. It's just, all they're doing is trying to win the middle. They win the middle, they open up the edges. That's it. Great carry. Smith. Last tackle now, so that's a pretty good spot. They've gone 50 metres. Nice little dinky kick there from Hawea. Tied it up at the back. Some lovely footwork there. Play gets Bolin, Jack Bolin there. 15 metres out first. And whereas St. Pat's a little bit more orthodox stuff, using their smaller men in the middle of the ruck here, trying to get a couple of cheap metres from the nimble-footed pretty boys, as we like to call them. Good carry there by Church. So Iana's got compressed defence here. They're actually wing out of the number 18. There's probably about 20, or he was 25 metres in from the sideline. That's good stuff there from St. Pat's. They've forced that error, the frustration of Iana trying to hold the player down. They're looking for a quick play of the ball. Halfway line's crossed. Luke Oxford mentioning they need to score first. Here's an opportunity with ball in hand. They haven't had much opportunity with that. Stevens, Maddox. Hangs on the footy and attempted a one-on-one -on -one strip here. Flat pass. Sutherland. That's the 30. Still a couple of tackles to go here for St. Pat's. They're going to put it through the hands. Left to right. Defence is there oh, for my owner. Great tackle there from Pereira and Hawaii. Really good stuff. I have a word to the guy passing the ball after. Here's a chance here. Needs a bounce, needs a bounce, and it's not going to favour him. Oh, oh got a try! Oh, St. Pat's have oh. conjured something up from a kick. Wellman, what a pass. Did not give up on the chase. The ball bounced. They thought it went into touch, and he's just thrown a, a ball behind his back, and Bolin was backing up on the inside there. Let's have a look at that one. 
they go to the right hand side of the field. James puts a kick in over the top. Wellman chases hard. He he regathers the ball, and throws it in behind, and bowling Johnny on the spot. What a try, JD. Holy <laughs> smoke. I'm going to say it now, that's the try of the carnival so far on field one anyway. What an absolute beauty, yeah. Not much grass to work with. I tell you what, these young guys, you know, they see it happen in the NRL and they're always wanting to practice it. And, geez, that was a really good start for St. Patrick's. Now, you know, now they've got to make sure they exit well out of this, uh, off this kickoff. You don't want them to get back, hit back with a try, Iana. And that could really fire them up. Ken will have a few words to say about what's been happening in the middle there. They need to hang on to the footy. Well, there's been a substitution. Obviously, Conversion is successful, yes, mate. The lock uh, lane is back out there. He provided a lot of damage, and Ben Venuti too. So, oh, excellent. Great great work here. Didn't give up on the play. Ball was going out. And look at that. Just tosses it back in and bowling. He's great thrown that there. back in. I think he was over the sideline. It yeah. was legal. Yeah, like legal. He, had, he left yeah. from the infield yeah. and flicked that back in from the outfield. That's extraordinary stuff there from the fullback in Cooper Wellham. And the conversion was successful. Very important. 14 points to six. Eight point ball game. Here we go. 12 and a half remaining. Really important set for Iona. They don't want to let these guys back in the game. All right. Well, he's going to have another carry this time. Let's see if he doesn't get... Uh, the clothesline. Sprague, the tackler. I think the referee's getting tired as well, Luke, because he's back eight now. <laughs> was 15. Was 15. They need quicker play the ball, yeah. St. Pat's. This really good ruck speed here from Iona. Now they're not getting quick play the ball. They need those little men to get in there as quick as they can to take some metres. Under ball. Easy target. But get four or five off the account. Sprague's working hard in that middle. He's done a really good job. Half a gap there just falls over. Gets a shot there from the middle of the knee Last tackle. And a penalty. Oh, coach killer number two. Quick tap. I don't know why they don't do a quick tap. It's just crazy. That was a really good uh, set there from uh, St. Patrick's College. Condon saw that uh, Ben Venuti was by himself and he tried to take the gap, just got just got the tackle made. I just wonder whether Brian Pollock yeah, Brian Pollock recognised yep. that. How they were losing the wrestle. They've responded to the coach's call. He's a smart man, is Brian. They're giving uh, significant size here, and, and what I've noticed in this second half here, JD, is that there's been a lot of tip-ons. Ooh, uh, like that little knock-on. They didn't need that. No. Yeah, like St. Pat's have, you know, thrown a couple of tip-ons in the second half, which just makes it hard for the, you know, the big guys. Yeah, all down to execution. Um, yes, Brian Pollock, uh, self prepared Proclaimed best looking coach in the competition. Oh, right. Uh, right. Yeah. No, I'll make that doesn't up. surprise me. With, doesn't, uh, surprise you. doesn't surprise me with Brian Polly. Yeah. He, uh, he's done a good job with these young mm. guys and he's built the rugby league program up from scratch. Now that we've got rugby league in our competition. Yep. And it's good to see for the AIC comp. So, Iona. Danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Ball back inside now is with Pereira. And Pereira takes the tackle. The left-hand defence was troubled in the first half. Now they're having a shot at the right-hand defence of St. Pat's Iona. Nine short of halfway. Slow play the ball. That's better from St. Pat's. And again, an easy target. Pops the pass. They've lost some metres. Good defence. Church. Good tackle there from Church. Good clean up there from Pereira. Still inside their own half. And that man is back out in the park there is Willie Lane. They, Lane. Need, him to, they yeah. need him big time. Here's another great ball runner, Benavenuti. Yeah, Benavenuti, good carry there, 10 metres. Last one. Quick what play they the do? ball. He's short over that side, they're going to run it. Turns it back inside, it's with Hawea. And he's going to keep the ball alive here. Puts it on the toe there, there's Kofovic. And they run it back into the field of play. So, St. Pat's, well, they survive again, another onslaught from Iona. Uh, St. Pat's, just given too, too many metres down that... Uh, on their right side defence 
you know, you got Pereira, you got uh, Hawaii, who are just, you know, got too much time on the footy. Inside nine minutes to go, eight point ball game, 14 points to eight, two tries, to, uh, three tries to one. I think one of those converted. We've got a long, wide back line here, so Patton's a compressed defence here from from Iona and over in and it will be Hancock who will bring it back in a good carry from Hancock that's a 15 metre carry what point do you uh, play a bit of catch up footy I just noticed that last set if they ran it to the left hand side they had the numbers did some, chip, uh, some pats simple formula Jay. They just win the middle quick play the balls and then the edges open up and that's all I own they're doing. Bit of a new two. Two great carries there. Yeah. Again, they're going to test the right defence. Hangs on to it. Hawaii almost gets through. They get smashed to the ground there by the collar. Whoa. I don't know about that. That was last tackle, putting his hands on the player. It wasn't needed. That flop. hawaii has got too much time with the footy. Well, he's went quiet. It's like rope a Came out and... Larger than the next Teddy, a little bit, bit quiet, but now he's starting to play his hand. Short ball, try time, the lock forward, and William Lane, you called it. He came back out on the park here from Chris McKenna, and he scores. Yeah, he's been a, he's been an integral part in that first half, uh, JD. He's, he's, he's strong ball carries through the middle, and, uh, you know, his defence, he really, he's, he's really tightened that defence up, and it, it's a good reward. Right in front, too. Thank you very much. Hard road back here for uh, St. Pat's now with probably be six minutes left on the clock when they restart. Looks like Ben Venuti's coming off. Jeezy did a, that was a nice little stint. A couple of good carries through the middle. Well, the thing is, it's a long carnival, isn't it? You've got to really rest these players. You've got 21 of them to try and rotate. One to give them some well, you, game time and also to um, yeah. save their legs. Well, you look at that. You, you take off Ben Venuti and then you, you put on the big fella. Leota. Oh, jeez. What a wrecking ball. Well, I th think Leota said, put me on or kill you, Chris. Yeah, look at this here. <laughs> Just had a dummy half. And nice little line from from Lane. Between Red. the shoulders, yeah? Yeah. It's very hard to stop when your hips and shoulders are square through that seam. So do they go the short one? I think you have to go the short and one. I think it's probably the other side. Look, I'll agree on this side. The ball will hold up better in the wind here for the chasers to come through. I'd go, I'd go right if you could. Yeah, totally. With the sun. Anyway, he's going to go no, no, mid, mid, mid oh, strength. And here we go. The Yota puts a fend on, puts two fends oh, on, then carry. Does the Maori side step? Crashes into Church. Your numbers this, down this left, left hand side. All the defenders have been drawn in from that carry. It's with Mohai. Five short of halfway. Leota wants to have oh. another crack. Oh, passes the 10 and the 20. Icky. Made three tackles. They've gone 60 metres, JD. Unbelievable. It's carnage up the middle of field number one here from Iona. They keep putting some more points on, will they? Quick hands, quick hands. Try time going over and scoring again. And this is Mohai, I think, the 15. Oh, that's an excellent try there from Iona College. And it all started off that... Uh, off the back fence in, the, in their own back half with Leota. Let's have a look at this play here. Lane gets the ball here, tacks the seam in behind dummy half. Church makes the tackle, nice little offload to Hawaii, and it's a nice little short pass. And and it's Mo here in, down in the corner. It's been a it's been a convincing uh, dis performance mm. here from Iona College. I think the. <laughs> I think if you want say Patsy would score a try, I guess, and I've got to be yeah. cranky after that. Yeah. But. And here he is. He's a well-deserved break from the young man. But I don't know, went back to what they did in the first half. But they took them 10 minutes to get back to that style of play. Yeah. Uh, because St. Pat's had some more footy. And I think it's just a simple formula. If you want to go deep into this carnival, JD, you win the middle. If you win the middle, you know, the defence line compresses and it opens up the edges. Conversion is successful. Yeah, we just look at this a long range try. I 
once again here from Iona, led by their back rowers. But number nine did really a really good job to attract that marker, that first marker. Gave that nice little pop past the lane, which opened up the space. Well done. Joshua Cash, That's number good. nine. That's good rugby league, that. Try something different. Oh, like you said, don't kick it to the left. Yeah. This is going to come back with a footy. I wouldn't want the other. He wouldn't want it. Oh, I was going to say a long ball back inside to him. But anyway, the wing is going to have a crack here, and he's been met by two shoulders. They've got to finish well, St. Pat's. You know, they they, they really want to, you know, finish this game off well, which will go into their next game. The other. A little bit flat-footed there, loses uh, his balance, but still makes it. He's very nimble for a big guy. He's got good, good footwork at the line. Kicking early, uh, chases need to come through. Mohai is one of those, and he's going to take that dead in goal. Ah, uh, that excellent work there by Iona College. Three tackles, kick early, fullbacks in the line, and now St. Pat's got to come out of their own half with a goal line dropout. They're not done yet, Tyana. This has been a really, really good start to their campaign, JD. It's uh, clinical, isn't it? They've responded. And something else was thrown at them, and there's been a bit of a bully boy on them. But here we go again. The Yota steps off to the right. Probably better off just going straight ahead. So, 20 metres out now, Iona. 26 points to six. Ten out now. Leota, just a block play. Now with Hawaii. Rolf. Hancock, the spine, the winger goes over, and Talon Cross will go over his second try. All too easy here for Iona. So Pats are shell shocked. Let's have a look at the replay here. They go from left to right here. Hawaii gives the ball to Rolf. Rolf takes it again to the line. Plays out the back to the fullback. The 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 centre uh, has his hips and shoulders turned in. He gets to his outside shoulder, and it's just a simple two on one there. Great try there, Hancock in the corner. And if I was Chris McKenna, I'd be very pleased mm. with some of their set plays inside there, inside the opposition twenty-two. Reference conversion. Seeing when I had to play again, who they play. Conversion's pretty good. Can do no wrong, Iana. Well, it doesn't tell me anything. Okay. Oh, wrong day. Oh, yeah, it's it's 50, 52 men's teams is pretty hard to find when <laughs> somebody's playing again. Uh, especially with the, the fine print there. I'll leave that to you, JD. Oh. St. Pat's. Do you know when you guys play again? Uh, no, I'm not quite too sure. Okay. So sorry, mate. That's all right. I was just trying to see who's who will be watching the tape of this game for Iona to prepare themselves for a uh, brutal encounter. The bounces. Oh, bounce. Looks yeah, goes good. In. Throws oh. it back in. Keeps Throws it alive in goal area. You don't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Poor old bit of a nudie. I said, I'm not a fullback. It's 21, not just one. So line drop out here. 12 seconds. Let's see how far he can kick this one. Gee, that's got some juice on it. It's going to land on the, about the 45 metre mark. One carry. Chip and chase, chip and chase. I think this player actually ended the first half first as well half, with the footy. Yes. Full time here. And Iona comprehensive. They've told the competition they're here to play 32 points to six. In a comprehensive win for Chris McKenna's squad. And they'll take that any day of the week. And for St. Pat's, you learn a lot from, a, more from a loss than you do from a win. And you're exactly right there, JD. You know, if, if I was uh, Brian Pollich, I'd be just telling the boys, obviously it's our first game together. We'll get better as the competition goes. And they would have exposed them in, in certain areas. 
but uh, well done to Iona College. They, they were comprehensive today, and for me, the number 13 was fantastic. He controlled the middle, slowed the ball, the ball, ball down in defence, and he carried hard. All right, Luke Oxford, thanks for your time. Mate. Hopefully we'll get you back later on this afternoon, and well done to Iona College. Comprehensive winners in the end there, and we bid you farewell. We'll be back shortly here for another game here at Confraternity 2023.